second friend survey and draw a turkey. Yeah, we hope you're gonna follow along because art is always better with? Friends. Yeah, friends like you. You need your drawing supplies. We're using markers. You also need some? Paper. Yeah, and what else? Something to color with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yeah. First, let's start with our turkey's beak and we're gonna draw the letter V in the middle of our paper. Yes, oh, I like how sharp your beak is. <laughs> it's really pointy. And then we're, <laughs> we're gonna draw the top of our beak. And then we're gonna also draw the little part that hangs down right here. We're gonna draw a little U shape. Yeah, that looks really cool. Next, let's draw the eyes. I'm gonna draw a circle on the left and a circle over here on the right. Those are some big eyes. Yeah, those are big eyes. I like it. Next time I draw a turkey, I'm gonna draw big eyes like that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's draw a smaller circle in the top left to make the eyes look shiny. And then let's color in the big circle, but leave the little circle white. This part will fast forward, so remember to pause the video and take extra time to color in your eyes. Mm -hmm. Now let's draw our turkey's head. We're gonna start here and we're gonna draw the cheek. We're gonna go under for the chin and then come up for the other cheek. Yes, and then we're gonna draw the top of our turkey's head. We're gonna draw a big upside down U to connect the top. <laughs> we're gonna draw the body next. Let's draw a letter U like this. Come down and up. There we go. There's our turkey's head and body. And oh, let's draw the feet. We're gonna draw smaller letter U's, the left and the right. And then we can also draw a line right down the middle for the toes. We did it! Oh, wait, it just looks like a little baby chicken. Yeah. What's it missing? Feathers. Yeah, feathers, the big tail. Let's draw a line that comes out like this on the left, and we'll draw a big line that comes out to the right. Oh, it kind of looks like skinny arms, huh? Yeah. <laughs> then let's draw a line going straight up from the top of the head. Yes, and then we're gonna draw a diagonal line that comes out from the side of the head and then also out this side. So we're splitting up all the feathers and let's draw another line in between all of the lines that we've already drawn. Yes. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, now we're gonna connect all of these lines together with bumps. So we're gonna draw a little bump like that to connect. Yeah, and then we can draw another bump to connect here. Oh yeah, and then also connect in between here. Oh yeah. And then we're gonna connect there all the way till we get down here. Yes, keep going. You did it. Okay, now I'm gonna connect mine. We'll draw all the way over here. Now we're gonna draw over to here until we get all the way down to the other side. Okay, now let's draw another line that matches this one that we already did all the way around, or curves. We're gonna draw curves that connect inside of the feathers. That way we can make them colorful. We're just gonna repeat the same thing going all the way across. And you can connect them to the lines too. So right here, you could connect that to the lines. Yes, and then here also. There you go. And the last thing we could add are little wings. I'm gonna draw one right here and one right here. Olivia, we did it. We finished drawing our turkeys, except we're not completely done. We still need to color it. Yeah, this part will fast forward one more time. So remember to pause the video and take time to color your drawings. You could also pause the video at the end of our coloring if you want to match our same coloring, but you don't have to. You can color it any way you want. Yes. All right, you ready to speed things up? Yeah. <laughs> Olivia, we did it. We finished drawing and coloring our turkeys and I love how big you drew your whole turkey. It almost filled up the entire page. Thank you, I like yours too. <laughs> Thanks. And you guys can pause the video right now to match our same coloring or remember you could color it any way you want. You could also- Add a background. Yeah, a background would be really cool. You could even draw more turkeys. And we also added color to the end of our turkey wings. We used yellow, orange, and red, but you could change those and mix them up. And we used our Art for Kids Hub markers. If you have the same set, what colors did we use? 23 orange and 35 yellow. Yeah, and we also used 15 red and we used three browns. We used our dark brown. 94. Yeah, and then our medium brown. 103. And then our light brown. 
was 97. Yes, 97 we used for the belly. And then I also used CG1, a light gray, to add a shadow underneath my turkey to make it look more 3D. Oh, we also used a white colored pencil for the highlights and a blue colored pencil for the bottom of our turkey eyes to make them look even shinier. Well, we have fun drawing a turkey with us. We do, we hope you had a lot of fun and we'll see you later, art friends. Gobble Goodbye. Gobble. <laughs> Are you a turkey? Yeah. Did you say gobble gobble? Yeah.